Today on the Rockabilly Arts, we are cutting on the plasma table. Here we are at the shop and, well, we bought a plasma table and a plasma table is pretty awesome because, you know, you can cut all kinds of stuff. However, you don't just kind of walk up to it and just do, 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 do. it's not like a, a bandsaw or anything like that. You have to program it. So let's go back to the house real quick, draw up something and then we'll, we'll come back here. John was kind enough to send over a PDF of the logo itself, so and this is much easier to do in Illustrator than it is to do in Fusion 360. So let me move everything down here, make sure that's a vector. I like it. All right, we'll export that out real quick, save it as an SVG. Some people do the DXF file, however, I haven't found it really translates directly. So SVG, definitely the way to go. All right, here we are in Fusion 360. We'll go ahead and you know, insert SVG. We'll put this on the uh, X plane. Find the file. All right, let's scale the sucker up. Now, if I was doing a little more precise work, then I would start off with uh, like a measurement, but I just picked a number and size at random. And because, you know, this is being cut out of metal, you have to have all of your ligatures attached and, you know, there's just a bunch of this going on repeatedly. And since we, you know, need an upper circle in the R, we have to make a little pass through there. We'll do the same thing with the A, you know, a little sympathetic angle here. Yeah, just kind of a random distance. Again, not super precise. So this is really cool. I want to show this. <laughs> what I did was I measured the width of the eye, and then I created a construction line right from the center point down, so that line doesn't actually get treated as a line. And then I will create a measurement, give it a dimension, and then I will set that dimension to half the distance of the width of the uh, of the eye. Do that on both sides. Draw a straight line straight down. See the 90 degrees. Go through. Trim out all the stuff that's not necessary. And then you get this nice, beautiful cut through. And so the O kind of looks like a stencil. Um, it's the one way that you can keep it. And here's, couldn't get the thing to attach. Ta-da! There you go. Now we'll extrude it by 0 0.01, uh, just so it has a little bit of dimension to it. Run it through the manufacturer process. All this is running like 500% speed, by the way. Um, select the tool. We got a 055 head in the plasma table. Set all the dimensions. Tell it to compensate in the computer. Uh, give it the lead in, lead out, take the, or take the lead out, out. And ta-da, now we'll get to render it. I always like to simulate these things too before they're actually run on the table just so I can make sure there's not any collisions and everything looks like it's there, all the letters. Um, here it is, sped up even further. Export that out now as G-code. G-code takes a second. Post-processing action. Everything looks good. All right, cool. And we'll save it as a tap file. Thank you. Make sure the torch comes on here. We're saying three, we're saying five. And we're back. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> really can't travel quickly, which is cool. Um, first thing I, I realized is I haven't been up here in like a month, so it is a disaster. And one of the problems that we run into is I'm a slob because I'm ADD as can be, right? So I'll go hours and totally forget to eat and then I'll lose track of time. Next thing I know, it's time for me to, to head to the house and I, can, I just don't pick up my toys when I'm done. Um, Jeff is working on his car over here. Joel rolls by, just kind of throws them together. Shadow goes in there, blasts some stuff. And it's just a wreck right now. So I've spent like the last 15 minutes cleaning up just so I could get to the plasma table. Um, yeah, this, uh, let's give it a tour, shall we?
here you have it the rutabaga sign cut on the plasma cutter you saw the uh the beginning the end um i will not show you the pile of scrap <laughs> that this has made but yeah uh, i'm gonna text john here in a second see if he wants to paint it or just clear coat it or may just wax it um yeah back looks even pretty good like i'm pleased so that was it plasma cutter how awesome is that <laughs>